Hey, welcome back. This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show, and we're going to check out this Surecom SWR power meter. And like I said before, it's good from 125 megahertz to 525 megahertz and up to 100 watts. 100 watts, that's pretty good. So we're going to check it out using one of my Bofang radios here. <clears throat> and it's pretty much... Um, set up for these type of radios that have the SMA connector. So we're gonna unconnect the this is the antenna that comes with the radio and this screws directly into the radio. You have to be a little careful here you don't break anything. Thing is a little heavy because it has a built-in battery. And be, I guess I'd be very careful when you tighten this. You don't want to over tighten it. I'm trying to get it in view. And then I hook up the. Well, we're going to try something different. We're going to try using the dummy load that comes with this. This is a little dummy load which is supposed to give you a perfect impedance match for these types of radios, which I believe should be 50 ohms. So we're going to see. So therefore, this should give you a, an accurate reading on the power output of this radio, and it should give you an S, a perfect SWR reading, which would be 1.0. And you want to have anything less than, say, 3 is good. So if your antenna is giving you an SWR, SWR reading above 3, Probably should check out that antenna and maybe replace it. So we're going to power this on. You push and hold this button right here. And it goes through a little test. And then a little segment here tells you what it's going to measure. And down here is the key for what it's measuring. If the bottom segment is on, it's measuring SWR. Is <clears throat> excuse me. If the top segment is on, it's measuring power. So it's going to measure SWR right now, and it should be 1.0. So uh, let me see if I can get this kind of in the camera. Turn the radio on. We're on the frequency of 443.05, which is uh, our local repeater for our Honeywell Club. And I'm going to have to identify myself first. Here we go. KE for GSK testing, 1.00 SWR. Perfect SWR with this dummy load. <clears throat> That's good. That's a good start. Now we're going to take this dummy load off, and it's getting a little warm. Oh, before I do that, mm, what a dummy. Before I do that, I want to measure. <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> Sorry, boy, early in the morning, my sciences are messed up. I want to measure the power. So I believe what you do is you press one time and then it goes the LED segment. The top segment is now illuminated, means this is now a power reading. <clears throat> this already was advertised to put out 5 watts. Every test I've done on it, it's been a lot less than 5 watts. And this is at 4, 4 3 megahertz. So let's see what it gets. Try to get this in view here so you can see it. KE4 GSK testing. It's like a 3.6 to a 3.7. And then it holds it. See, I'm not I'm not transmitting now. It holds the reading. That's nice. So about a little less than 4 watts, which other tests, other meters, that's what they've shown. Somewhere between 3.5 and 4 watts. This is now frozen. Whoa! <clears throat> My camera froze up there for a second. I don't know what that was all about. You just never know what's going to happen. So anyway, that's... We got 1.0 SWR with the dummy load and 3.6 watts with the dummy load. So let's put the antenna that came with the radio back on. Now, this is not going to mate... This is SMA, 
female as a male female. So, very nicely, they sent these adapters. So I'll put this adapter on here, which does change the configuration a little bit from what it'll be like when it's connected directly to the radio. And then we're going to have to set this down. I, I mean, like I said before my previous video, you get four adapters plus a dummy load. That's worth 20 bucks right there. Okay, now we're going to switch it back to SWR. Lower segment is lit. lit, lit. So this is going to be an SWR. So here we go. K4 GSK testing. 2.8. SWR of 2.8. Not good. Tolerable, but not good. That means a lot of your power is getting reflected back down into the antenna and not going to the outside world, which means the radiated power is less than ideal. Not good. Let's check power. Okay, we're now in the power mode. So let me get down. Here we go. KE4 GSK, KE4 GSK. Okay, now we're getting about uh, 4.5 watts with the antenna that comes with the radio. Now, I have several aftermarket antennas, which I have no idea what I did with them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of the antennas for these other Bofang radios, which should be um, good to use on this radio. This this is a, another model, a newer model of this radio, and I think the antenna looks very similar, very similar, maybe identical. So I'm just going to take this antenna off. This is the one that came with the radio, and I'll put it over here so I don't get them mixed up. And I'm going to take the antenna off this radio. I don't know if this radio is charged, so I don't know if I can test it. Put it on. Now recall that um, the SWR was 2.8 with the other antenna, and the power was 4.5 with the antenna. So here we go. Different antenna from this radio. KE4 GSK testing. About the same reading. Whoops. 4.5. Almost identical. That's good. Let's try the SWR. Uh, what did I say it was 2.8? KE4 GSK testing, 2.9. So, about the same readings between the two antennas. Like I say, they look, they look identical. I would say they're identical. All right. Now, let's try and get this off. Let's get this antenna off. You know, I'll put that back on this radio so I don't get them mixed up. Not seems like they're identical, which is not ideal. You know, a SWR 2.8, that's right there on the margin, I'm losing a lot of power. So this is another Bofang, same connector, similar, a um, little longer. So let's see what happens. And I'm only testing it on a one frequency. Now, if you're interested in me doing more extensive testing, like different frequencies, uh, I, I'll try to find all my other antennas, try a different, couple of different antennas. Just let me know. Put a comment in there. Let me know. I'll be glad to do that. All right, here we go. So we're on SWR. KE4 GSK testing. KE4 GSK. Whoa, check that out. SWR, SWR, it's easy for me to say, it's 5.4. <clears throat> you don't want to use this antenna. That's terrible. That's terrible. Now let's see what the power is. I don't want to do too much testing with this antenna. Boy, that's right. It stinks. Whoops, I turned it off. I pushed and held it. Okay, let's turn it back on. Okay, now we're going to push it once to go to power. We're now going to measure power. KE4 GSK testing 4.4 4.5 power 
says from the radio says it's about the same. Even though the SWR is terrible. What would the heck was that SWR? It was fight five something? Here we go again. K4 GSK testing. 5.2. Boy, that really stinks. Now, granted, let me turn the radio off. Granted, what they're trying to do with these little inexpensive portable radios is the antenna is, is a compromise for the two major amateur radio bands. The 2 meter band, which is about 145 megahertz, and the 70 centimeter band, which is like 445 megahertz. So this, is, this antenna is a compromise. And I'm using it on that upper band. And so we're going to get, I can assure you, we're going to get different results depending on what band I'm trans, what frequency I'm transmitting on. Like I say, if you want me to do more extensive testing, I'll be glad to do that. But this is just a sample of using this device. <clears throat> it does appear, with this limited testing, to be pretty accurate, both SWR and power. Um, as you recall, when I used the dummy load that comes with it, that's pretty cool that they supply the dummy load. Um, I got an SWR is 1.0. And I got a power, I forgot what the power was. Anyway, that's it. Again, if you want me to do more, I will gladly, uh, oh, the dummy load is only good for 5 watts. So you only want to put 5 watts into it. That's it. If you got any more comments, or if you got any comments, please leave them. Hey, I'm here to help you. If you enjoyed the show, please give me a thumbs up and have a great day. Bye bye. Again, this is the one last time SureCom SW33 meter. They they came out with this meter quite a while ago, but it was diff slightly different. Slightly different. This seems to be an improved quote version. $35 on Amazon. I'll put it in my Amazon store. Bye-bye.